Well, here we are looking at week 16 photos now, but of course, a little flashback to week 15 first. Um, and I don't think we had anything new to add to week 15 photos. The, you know, the, this one was quite an interesting one. It was missed by most people that this was guards, machine gun regiment, lifeguards, rather than anything else, um, rather than machine gun corps. Uh, so glad, glad we picked that up. Um, but no, so every, everything else sort of um, just went quite smoothly, really. Uh, you know, as always, do let us know if you see anything in the photos that we can share. Um, we will include it in the following week's videos. Now on to week 16. Now, this is a nice studio shot for the first photo of the week. Uh, and a nice lot of insignia on it. Well, not a nice lot as such, but certainly this flash, company flash probably, maybe battalion flash um but likely to be company maybe divisional you know so sometimes the divisional patches were picked up but what we've got is a star inside a cross so um i'm not really it's not one i recognize and just having a quick look through the insignia that we have saved on the pc here it's not one i can identify so if you've got any ideas what that is please do let us know um we've got the mgc shoulder title above it there that's quite obvious uh wearing a lanyard a white lanyard wearing the 1903 pattern bandolier machine gun corps cap badge on his service dress cap there a good conduct stripe and a wound stripe on the, for the individual as well and what have we got we've got putties and we've got spurs so highly likely to be a transport driver of a machine gun corps infantry unit uh yeah sadly can't really identify that unit at the moment but i'm sure with um good bit of detective work we'll be able to identify whose patch that is uh, nothing on the back to help us with identifying that patch though other than just that quick mgc scribble that we see on so many of these postcards english postcard though so possibly uh done in england rather than france or belgium now, this is um, probably quite a famous postcard, I'm not really sure, but it's certainly the famous tank Britannia and crew, an Allied war exposition. Um, so a press photograph that's been shared. And what we've got is we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four men with machine gun corps insignia. So yeah, heavy section, heavy branch machine gun corps uh, before being formed into the Royal Tank Corps or into the Tank Corps, sorry. And then this chap here. Now, that's a cap badge that doesn't immediately jump out to me as a particular unit other than the only sort of large, long cap badge I can think of like that's like King Edward's horse. Um, but it but I, but I doubt that very much in this case. Uh, it might well be there. So somebody could perhaps identify that a little bit better than me. Um, they're in overalls, uh, which became you know, sort of the tank crew uniform. And I think, can we see, are they wearing service dress under their uniforms? Under their overalls, sorry. Maybe. We did see that in a previous photo. Um, this chap doesn't necessarily look like he is, uh, but this chap here could be. Service dress caps um, and their boots poking out from underneath their overalls as well. Uh, this guy's wearing big heavy gloves. The others aren't. This chap, though, in the middle here is resting on a Lewis gun um, that has been dismounted from one of the two uh, two points here. So it's a female tank with two Lewis guns rather than any of the six pounder guns. Um, I don't know that much about tanks, so I can't really... I'm not even sure I can tell you which mark it is. I would guess at a Mark IV, but the fact it's equipped with Lewis guns, it could be a Mark V. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Like I say, I'm not brilliant on those. Uh, maybe somebody else can, can step in and tell me. Britannia, I'm sure, was a famous tank. Um, it's not one I've heard of. Uh, it's not one I've come across. So, again, you know, my, my sort of knowledge is limited as soon as we escape the Vickers machine gun, I'm afraid. And it's a blank postcard. There's no information on the back. Um, AZO, maybe the company, AZO, around the place stamp here sign. Um, but other than that, no, no date or anything to work from. So this is a nice photo of six men of the Machine Gun Corps and we can see the Machine Gun Corps cap badges on all those and also we can see the Machine Gun Corps shoulder title on this chap here. Now that MGC looks a little bit splayed so what I mean by that is it looks like they've separated out the letters. Um, that might just be a, uh, so it's a little bit curved like some of the shoulder titles were um, and obviously the MGC should be straight. That might be a complete you know, assumption on my part 
but it seems to be there. Now they all seem to be wearing some sort of badge or flower petal or something like that um, up on their chests. Another one over here, look, and then another one down in that pocket button there. So, or ribbons or something. Not really sure why. Um, maybe. Uh, not yeah I don't really know why so maybe somebody can tell me on that um, but there's nothing really else to stand out but it is a great sort of characterful photo not everybody have moustache but when they do they have a really good one um, yeah there's no metal ribbons we've got a watch uh, watch lapel sort of, um, watch chain on there uh, yeah nothing nothing else to add for me but I'm sure others will be able to look at this and see uh, see something different on the back we have a little bit more information from William to Jesse with best wishes I mean that doesn't help us narrow it down but it's nice to see the postcard that's been used um, and yeah it's obviously a collector or somebody's just added MGC uh, on the back there to help identify it a little bit more now this gun feels to me like Egypt, Middle East, uh, Mesopotamia, that sort of location and about 1915-1916. Um, gut feel, so it's got an early gun, five arch top cover there, you can see one, two, three, four, five on that lightened gun. We've got a Mark 1 muzzle cone on there, we've got uh, the mark one direction dial and a mark one elevating wheel so that may be a little bit later actually 1916 and now we've got the mark one tangent sight slide we've got both men sat there this chap you can just see his mgc cut badge there um and i can't quite work out what that ammunition box is but i'm going to say it's a wooden type uh, just from the square sides rather than the slope stuff and i would say that they are actually firing um perhaps on a on a range or you know um into straight into the desert uh yeah so uh not much detail it's a really nice photo though um from a well certainly from it's not too crisp it's you know it's it's a bit real something's happening um yeah fluted jacket gun yeah i'd sort of say in about 1916 i think uh no well yeah it's not going to be 1915 is it because we've got a machine gun called cat badges so 1916 maybe early 1917 that's my gut feel on this one and we've got the French carte postale, so um, yeah, likely to be an, uh, well, an overseas postcard. I think you know, that's pretty obvious, uh, but no other information, sadly. Now, this is the first of quite a few postcards in one of the folders from Graham Sackett's archive of wedding photos. And so for anybody that's interested in civilian clothing of the Great War, perhaps civilian weddings, um, you'll see that there's probably enough material here to write a thesis on it of some sort. Uh, you know, I can't interpret these. All I can talk about is military uniforms. And there is just only one in this photo. Uh, and that is the gentleman here, an officer uh, with his machine gun corps collar badges to tell us he is machine gun corps officer. There's very little else I can tell you about him. Um, he's wearing his Sam Brown belt. He's wearing a service dress jacket. Uh, that with the big bellowed pockets that we see on the officers uh, officers jackets quite smartly attired there's no other insignia whatsoever um, but he's clearly there he might be the one getting married I'm trying to work out whether that's the case or whether he's a father or whatever because I can't see unless that chap there I can't see anybody else that looks like the bridegroom so um, yeah I'm not really sure uh, can't tell your location but obviously in front of some terraced houses um, but yeah just a, a, a big family photo and perhaps a family photo in Leeds so Jay Garrett photographer 115 North Street Leeds this is one of those 34th Battalion Machine Gun Corps post-war photos of which there's quite a few in this little series and the postcards all seem to have survived together um, or certainly you know, are recognisable and have been brought back together. We can see the insignia of the 34th, that checkerboard of the 34th Division uh, that's being worn as the battalion insignia there. And both men are sergeants and they've got certainly, you can see the difference in the stripes there, this crisscross pattern on this stripe and then just the plain worsted variety. Uh, what else? Machine Gun Corps insignia on there, and looks like he's wearing something under his collar a flower or a, a ribbon or something there. And then on his tunic, there you have a medal ribbon. I can't quite work that, that out. I'm gonna guess military medal, not really sure. Um, 
but yeah it's you know soft caps on both of them service dress caps on the gun itself we've got a single arch top cover so quite a later later gun because it's fitted with um a mark ii tangent sight slide as well we've got the mark one direction dial in the mark one elevating wheel cover we've got a bout of ammunition in there because these are occupation troops it wasn't just drill rounds and stuff like that we've got the fluted barrel casing we've got um and that's probably it on the gun actually so uh 1917 production gun um by the looks of it and then we've got putties and boots on the men uh, but nothing more to tell you about them and somebody's correctly identified the 34th division flashes on there as well and sincerely yours george well sadly george we can't identify you which George you are so um, you'll probably remain anonymous I think uh, but yeah uh, at least we can identify the unit and in this smartly attired photo we've got the machine gun corps soldier here wearing a 1914 pattern belt looks like he might have a medal ribbon on there as well um, not really sure that's uh, possibly a single color medal ribbon um, which would only indicate a Victoria Cross or a George Cross. So, uh, but he's not one I recognise at all. Um, from the Victoria Cross winners videos that we've been doing with Robbie Maguire military history. Uh, so, yeah, go and have a look at those videos if you want to understand more about the MGCVCs. Uh, I had the opportunity to visit all of those in um, France recently. All of the sites from the MGCs in France, which was five of the seven awarded. Uh, and we'll be doing more about the Mesopotamia VC, but we're releasing those on the anniversaries of the days when those were won. Uh, so please do watch those vids. Anyway, you know, I doubt this is a VC. Um, it's not, like I say, it's not a face I recognise, and I've had to look at those photos now. Might be completely wrong. Uh, but we've got Lance Corporal and the MGC shoulder titles on there, and like I say, the 1914 pattern belt with the distinctive snake. Um, and he sat down next to uh, somebody with no military attire whatsoever. So, um, you know, friend, father, brother, somebody like that, perhaps. And there's nothing on the back to help us. So uh, hopefully, you know, these aren't too tedious and aren't too boring for you. Hopefully you're still enjoying the information that comes across in them and you get the opportunity to look at these postcards, which are a great collection. And we will certainly be doing more with in the future. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to. And let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.